Justin Pott here with MakeUseOf.com, and today I'm going to show you an easier way to add repos to your XBMC system. Uh, no more will you need to download zip files than browse to them using XBMC's interface. No, you can do this all. No zip files required all within XBMC using something called Fusion. It's pretty easy to use, but before we get into it, we need to uh, go over a few things. First, let's make a few things clear. XBMC is an open source media player designed for use on televisions. It's great for organizing and browsing the movies and TV shows on your computer, but can also access online media through the use of add-ons. I'm browsing the official add-on list here. Now, plenty of these add-ons are added, offered in the program by default. You, again, you can see them here, but there are many that aren't for various reasons. Maybe they're in beta, not quite ready yet. Maybe they just haven't been submitted, and maybe XBMC won't allow them because they're primarily designed to offer a copyright infringing content or other reasons like that. Uh, whatever the reason, it's still perfectly possible to add repos by yourself. Uh, in the add-on interface, you can see get add-ons here. You can even install from a zip file. Now, installing from a zip file is great, but if it's on your TV, it's not exactly practical. You need to download the file, then browse to it using this interface, and it's 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 okay. It's not perfect. Uh, Fusion makes something a little simple. Let's get things straight, though. There's XBMC, the open source uh, nonprofit organization that offers this, and you can explore their official add-ons online. No problems there. Uh, but there's also a service called XBMC Hub. Now, this is a for-profit company. And it runs a website that uh, kind of gives people who are making these plugins and add-ons that aren't officially endorsed by XBMC kind of a place for them to meet. And one service that this XBMC hub offers is the Fusion Installer, which is what we're going to be talking about today. Now, XBMC itself does not endorse the Fusion Installer. As you can see here, they actually officially recommend you do not use it. Now, I don't really see the fear here. I mean, if you're just using it to install plugins, there are some tools offered by XBMC Hub that have messed with my installation a little, but just setting up Fusion itself hasn't been a problem. You can find official instructions for going through them, but uh, screenshots don't capture it very well, so we're going to do a video tutorial now with that out of the way. To get started, we're going to want to head to the file manager in XBMC. That's right, there's a file manager built in. You can usually find it in the main menu under system. It will vary depending on your theme. Open up the file manager and you should see a two pane file browser. By default, there shouldn't be too much here, just whatever directories you've added with your media. We're going to add a new one. We're going to, uh, instead of going over to browse to look at files on the computer, we're going to add a web one. And the way to do that is simple, just start typing. In this case, what you want to do is add HTTP uh, fusion.xbmchub.com and that's it. Go ahead and click enter for done. It should be good to go. I'm going to need to give it a name. I'm going to call it Fusion and then click OK. You've now added it. You can actually browse the Fusion directory from here. You'll see some notes up top. There's the hub wizard. You can look at the most popular things right there. Okay, so now that you have Fusion added as a source, you can install add-ons. Now, like I've said before, the usual process for installing add-ons includes downloading a zip file and browsing to it onto your hard drive. Uh, this removes the step, so you don't need to download it to your hard drive for, and instead, if you go to install from zip file the same way you usually would, you'll see Fusion as a source. So now you can browse Fusion and all the repositories complained in it as though it were on your computer. You can see that there's folders here just like before. We're going back to uh, movies, TV. Now, this isn't going to be completely useful. It's not like an app store that you can browse and see everything at once. It's just a quick way to install repos. You're going to need to know what you're looking for, though. I, for example, know that there's something called Free Cable in Blue Cop, so I'm going to install that. And I also know that the NHL Game Center app, which is something, as a hockey fan, I make use of quite a bit, is in one down here called carb zeros carbos anyways i know it's there so now that i've added those two repos you can see when i go to get add-ons that they're there let's go to blue cop first i'm going to go to video add-ons and there's free cable this one lets me watch tv shows from a variety of different sources i also grabbed a uh, carb zero which gives me access to nhl games so i'm going to go there i'm going to click install and it's going to uh, install pretty quickly. If you've installed an add-on before, this is just the same, nothing special. Uh, but just to kind of give you a sense that it's working, I can go now to videos, I can go to video add-ons. This is a pretty clean setup. Under NHL Game Center, you're gonna need an account to use this. I've set that up prior. Uh, and, you know, I can watch a game right now, unless the recording software is going to block it again. So, there's that. 
So again, uh, it's called Fusion. It doesn't give you, it's not the only way to get all of these plugins, but it's the fast way to get it. You don't need to download them. And it's a good way to do it if you primarily use your media center from a remote, which you do. Uh, for makeuseof.com, my name's Justin Pott. Uh, thanks for watching.